Hi, I'm David Glancy, Master Sommelier and Founder and CEO of San Francisco Wine School. I'm here for Wine Institute and Discover California Wines to tell you how much there is to see and taste in Santa Barbara and the South Coast and how to make the most out of your trip there. Santa Barbara is just 95 miles from Los Angeles. The vineyards and wineries in the area tripled in number since the 1990s and today there are over 100 wineries there. If you like crisp wines, go to the cooler areas of Santa Maria and San Inez. These areas are cool due to a break in the coastal mountain ranges that lets fog come in. The movie Sideways popularized Santa Barbara and of course Pinot Noir. The Santa Rita Hills area has seen lots of growth. Nearly two thirds of the Santa Rita Hills Appalachian is covered with Pinot Noir. There's also world-class Chardonnay and Syrah here, and this is definitely another one of those cool regions with coastal influence. If you like bigger, richer wines, go to some of the newer, warmer regions, the American viticultural areas or subregions of Santa Barbara, Ballard Canyon for their great, powerful Syrahs, and Happy Canyon for their Cabernet Sauvignon and Sauvignon Blanc. For more information on Santa Barbara, go to sbcountywines.com. Very nearby to Santa Barbara is the South Coast American Viticultural Area. This is a big area that is not well known. It includes five counties from Los Angeles in the north down to San Diego. This is actually the first place in California where vines were planted. They were planted along with the first mission by Junipero Serra. There are over 40 wineries in the South Coast. Most of them are very, very small, not really big commercial significance. If you like crisp wines, get cool climate Malibu Coast Chardonnay. If you like bigger, richer wines, go to the warmer Temecula region for Cabernet Sauvignon. Thank you.